It's almost that time, Falcons fans. Kickoff to the 2022 Quick Lane Bowl is approaching. So how is Bowling Green preparing for their first postseason game in seven years? Well, take a look. Right now, this is the busiest week that I've had ever in my entire life in terms of in December. Uh, and, and December's always a zoo, but we've got 20 some odd kids here on visits this week. Uh, we're trying to game plan to win for a game. We've got a new AD who I think is gonna do a great job here. We've talked about it. We're gonna somehow get to it, but uh, no, I wanna be here and uh, I wanna finish the mission here. You know, uh, I wanna be able to look back at uh, uh, Bowling Green and said that we made a complete difference and we got the program back to where you know we all expect. These people deserve it, Bowling Green deserves it, the community deserves it and uh, I'll look back and I'll go that was the hardest thing we've ever done ever but the most rewarding. It's a lot different now from when I first got here to now uh, a lot of team chemistry like bonding and it's like true love from me and my brothers around here. Bowl game, we all know it's fun, you know, uh, it's a fun time, more like a vacation, but no, we're treating it very serious because we want to take this to like our next step for next year. You know, end the year off with a win, and then, you know, it carries on from next year. We already ended the year, so once we do that, we're taking this very seriously, and we want to get that win. When did you realize that that this was going to be it, and kind of what like what went into that decision ultimately? Um, you know, we had a we've overcome a lot over the last couple of years, and we've gotten to this point bowl game. Haven't done that in the last seven years, and I thought that that was pretty special. And um, just want to end it with a win, bring a bowl game victory back to Bowling Green. You know, it's bittersweet. Um, this game has meant so much to my family. We, my family has bonded so much over this game with my siblings and my dad and the history that we have with it. And um, But yeah, I know that that's, that's a possibility and I'm okay with that, I have no regrets. I think Matt has done an unbelievable job of taking some really tough situations and hanging in there. Most of the time, whenever you got a quarterback that has been through hell, they never recover. You go back to some of the great ones, I'm not going to name their names, they're in my mind right now, that played as a freshman, got their brains beat out, and never really panned out to where they were going to be. He got his brains beat in for two years here and was able to overcome and get out of the bad habits that you know the, that, that creates whenever you're not around a good team. So Matt's very important. I love him like a brother, uh, son, whatever. I'm at that age where I could probably call him a son. But... Uh, yeah, I love him, and I, I don't want to see him go, but uh, it's time, you know, it's time. Also, I don't want you to know this, my brother played quarterback at New Mexico State 2013. He was the starter. That's awesome. So now we get to play them. It's just random matchup, so football journey has come full circle. Get to play him. I want some bragging rights, so <laughs> definitely want to put it up on him. First of all, I want to thank the Quick Lane Bowl for hosting us at this um, Henry Ford Museum. And the coolest thing, in my opinion, so far, seeing the rich history of the automobile industry. Um, I'm very unfamiliar with this, so walking around, seeing all the old Ford cars, it's been a really, really cool experience. Seeing cars that JFK and Ronald Reagan have driven in, it's been very, very cool. It's cool to be in a museum. History has been my favorite subject in school, so it's a lot of stuff that I already knew and a lot of stuff that I'm uh, learning, too. Like and I, I love a lot of the guys, especially like the Rosa Bucks part, uh, the Rosa Parks bus and everything. So it's really nice. And then you know all the food and stuff. It's really just a nice day. Yeah, it's been really fun. The hotel is amazing, and coming here to the Henry Ford Museum, uh, they treated us to a nice meal, and it's just overall been really fun. What walking around? What's been the coolest thing you've seen? Uh, I like uh, John F. Kennedy's car. 
that was pretty cool to see that historical fact. Uh, I used to come here growing up as a kid, and it's really cool to walk around and like see everything. Ready? Tonight's been great. Uh, favorite part for me personally, just seeing all the cool artifacts and everything. We actually got to see the chair where Lincoln was shot in. I've never seen nothing like that. It's in actually great condition. Uh, saw the car, Kennedy. Uh, that that was that was a nice artifact as well, as well as the bus too. There's a lot of cool artifacts in here. The museum's been great. The experience has been great. I'm having a great time. The favorite part was just you know learning about the history of the cars and Rosa Parks. You know really just learning about everything and just more about the Detroit area as a whole, so it's been pretty cool. It's awesome, um, you know, it's always good to help out people who, you know, always can't get what they want and, you know, our team's happy to do it, so I'm glad to do it. It's just been great, you know, be able to give back to the community even though the weather hasn't allowed for that, so it's really something special to be able to do this for a community. I don't know I go back. I did it. I feel like that this is the time of the year where a lot of people give instead of receiving and we were able to still give and you know contribute so I think it's really good. What about you bro? How you feeling? Uh, honestly coming back here with the, with the whole team and stuff like that it feels like family and like we giving back and stuff like that is honestly a great feeling and I feel like this is going to support plenty of people in the community and help those in needs especially. Yeah that's all. Last night at the Henry Ford Museum, the curators that were, you know, manning the stations were walking up to us saying, just want you to know something. This is the most appreciative group of people that we've had through here. And they've had bowl after bowl after bowl team come through here. It says a lot about you and your character and who you are as people. Grateful, appreciative, thankful people. That's what the holiday season is about. Let's enjoy each other's company tonight and thank you. Let's celebrate tonight. But let's enjoy each other's company because we're going to compete together with each other. And go win a go win a ball game here in a couple of days. Okay. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Everybody's excited, man. It's a blessing to be here, playing the NFL Stadium, practicing the NFL Stadium. You know, for everyone, for most of us, this is our dream. So everybody's ready to go, man. Everybody's ready to go out there and play, you know, perform and execute. But that's exactly what springboarding into 2023 mean for us. Like you said, like the culture that we build in here, the culture that the seniors leave here for us, for us younger kids to, you know, build upon. That's exactly what it, what that is when we say springboarding into 2023. <laughs>
Just playing back in my home state, man, this place brings it back a lot of memories. Um, I played in Alliance Stadium a couple of times before, playing in a state championship with my high school team, um, and just being here seven on seven. So it's, it's like a home away from home, you know, um, and I feel like it's the perfect way to, you know, sign out and just playing here in my hometown, or my, not my hometown, but my home state, and, and allowing all my family members to come and support me without being too much of a hassle, you know. It's an unbelievable feeling. I, I can't wait for that. You know, I, I always been all in. Um, another game is another opportunity for me to go out there with my brothers and compete. I don't know how many opportunities I'm going to get after this bowl game. So I just want to cherish the moment while I'm here, you know, enjoy the time and, and have fun. So uh, kind of just looking forward to playing with my brothers one more time. That's our emphasis, you know, stop the run uh, and, and, and affect the quarterback. So when we got multiple guys getting to the quarterback, they're hungry, they're eager. Um, they want to be able to make those big plays when they pre uh, present themselves. And we got a lot of guys on this defense that's just hungry and uh, that and that's selfish on this defense that want to be first one to get the sack. So it's a good it's a good mixture of, you know, competitive balance and, you know, keeping it fun and stuff like that. So um, it's just honestly, it's, it's amazing just to have so many different people get a sack because, you know, it shows their hard work too. Everybody on defense always comes in and works. So it's kind of like destined for like the success to be there because we have like our D-line, like I say they're the best D-line in the country, like the back end, got good DBs, good linebackers, and everybody just comes to work. So of course, the success that we have this year, it's almost like it was, we was destined for it. The fan base as well, it's, um, like you want your fans to be there. Like they carry energy to the players and the players carry energy to them. And if you have more fans, of course, you want to show out and do your best for them. And if it isn't that many fans, we talked about today after practice that we got to bring our own juice and bring our own intensity. So it's, it's a plus that the fans will be there, but as a team, we just know we got to still like be focused and bring our own juice. Hell yeah! See it! See it! That's what we're about! Well, I think we sold out our lot in the tickets, which is great. And uh, the more uh, people that can come to the game, the, the better off I think uh, we will be. Just like you said, I think it is a home advantage. We don't have to go on a three and a half hour plane ride. They do. They got to go through a time change. We don't. Um, this is a really important game because of the footwork, uh, the footprint of our team. The majority of the kids are from this four hour radius. Um, so I think they'll have some pride playing in Detroit. I'm really fortunate and uh, ecstatic that our first one is in Detroit. One to get fans there. Two, it's in our footprint. Three, because of recruiting. And um, four, you know, this is our first one. These kids have never been to it. So it's much easier um, when you're 45, 50 minutes up the road, uh, teaching them how you act, how you prep, how you do things during a bowl game. This is all new for them. And uh, we'll do a good job with that. These kids uh, will represent themselves in a first class manner. And uh, I'll be shocked if we don't go out and play really hard. We're excited about it. I know my family's excited about it. When I first got here, my uh, youngest daughter goes, uh, Daddy, where are we doing? Uh, where's Santa Claus coming? Uh, which hotel is he coming to this year? And we haven't, they've got to do uh, uh, Christmas at home for the last three years, and that's good enough. I'm good with that. Then we need to get back to the hotels. I think this is. 23rd or 24th bowl game as a player and coach that I've been a part of. So we need to be in hotels during this time of year and get Santa Claus to come to the hotel. Thank you for watching our Quick Lane Bowl special here on WTOL 11 Plus. We'll also have more on WTOL.com and make sure you tune into the game on ESPN Monday at 2 30.